in the le in the so in the socialist and liberal areas, you know that uh, in let's take uh, Israel as a as an example because this is country I know the best. <laughs> um, shit. Uh, so a lot of the young people in here are very very right wing, not uh, both economically and and uh, socially. Uh, we have organizations that are calling for the death of all Arabs and uh, banning LGBT people and a lot of young people are joining them. The problem is the educational system in here that is going very, very right-wing these days and this country is going to hell because of the right-wing. When the right-wing doesn't have a balance, it just destroys things. Every country is different. Like, in Britain, the younger generation, say, 30, well, I would say 20 or younger, are tending to lean towards the uh, left wing socialist area socialist middle um, because they are the internet race race um, but, um, yeah they look at the internet the most and they research a lot more than older people in our country the older people just literally just watch the TV and listen to what's on the telly and of course the people on the telly will I agree 100% with what the government says. Yep. And listening to the government is probably the worst thing to do. Yep, right now. We're gonna, you know, there's a quote that's saying, being right is wrong when the government... Is, being right is dangerous and when the government is wrong. And I believe this is like the state most of the world is in right now. Yep. Because the governments of all the world right now think they have so much power. They think that they can get away with everything, uh, but they need their people. Their people are what make the country, people not them. Precisely, and once they piss off the people in, uh, enough, there there will be a revolution. There will be. I'm I'm seeing. I'm going to see a worldwide revolution eventually. I think. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, it's either going to go one of two ways. The. The rich will become so powerful, or think they're so powerful, and the poor will become so distraught and demoralised that they will think that they can no longer go any higher and pretty much just become slaves. Or it's just going to become a complete revolt throughout the world. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's going to be one or the other. Because um, it is right now just capitalists are starting to get full control of the world. Focus of all and look at old Trump. That psycho is actually getting full support by the Republican Party, and is 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 leading in the polls. If Donald Trump gets elected, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. To I him. don't know. There's either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. It's like the there's of, no the lesser of two evil. And actually, there is an, an alternative, two alternatives: Jill Stein and uh, Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson is a libertarian, and Jill Stein is a social democrat. But they'll and never vote for either. Um, America never votes for anyone other than Democrats or Republicans. Yeah, and that's that's the sad thing. The two system party is completely breaking the country. Yes, I, I love Britain for actually having a half decent democratic system, at the same time as having a terrible democratic system. <laughs> um, like right now, the Tories are in charge with thirty five percent of the population vote. Okay. So because they were first past the post. Nobody got anywhere near 35%, so technically they got the majority of the vote, but they weren't even over 50% of the votes. So 65% of our country does not want the Tories in power. That's, 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 that's a stupid system. Uh, yeah, um, but it means that like, our country, Britain, has Tories and Labour, they're like, they're tech, they used to be the opposites of each other. Right now, you have the Tories, you have Labour, which are the red Tories, they're basically the just Tories nowadays. Uh, you have Lib Dems, which also kind of like the Tories. You have the SNP, but they're only Scottish. They, they don't have any seats within England, Wales or Ireland because they refuse. Uh, and then you have the Green Party, which you can probably guess who they are. Yeah. And then you have like lots of, you have thousands of other ones. There's like the mad uh, 
party, like raving loony, loony party or something like that. Raving mad loony party. There's the UKIP party, UK Independence Party, which were the people that started this whole Brexit thing. Oh god. Um, and yeah, like you have all those different cu cu um parties. You know I'm going to take I'm going to take the eyesightwit.com test of the United Kingdom. I want to see which part country I'm going, which uh, political party I'm going to be. Probably you'd probably be SNP. Yeah. If you're a socialist. I'm a socialist. You would be SNP, almost 100 percent. SNP or old Labour. New Labour right now are pretty much they used to be central left, like left but pretty close to the centre where they understood that money was important to the world right now that we live in but also people were important right now however they are probably more central right so they've actually swapped to being more like a uh, capitalist when they used to be socialist which is like terrible for the world or for the uk because anybody that voted or used to vote for Labour technically only get to vote for the Tories and because and because of that the Tories have been getting so much power of late because of there's either the Tories or the people that are basically just the Tories <laughs> and so just yeah the Tories are getting so so powerful in Britain in Scotland however 50% of Scotland want SNP as a as their leading party. Wow. 50% of Scotland. That's more than what the Tories have throughout the whole of Euro the UK. And that is, that is insane. I wish I wish Meriton here had 50% of votes. Merit is like the socialist uh, party. Uh Scotland, the UK has 600 and something seats. That's how many seats they have in the in the power um, common room. Um, Scotland itself has 59. 56 or SNP. Wow. That's to show you how much of a difference is between England and Scotland. Scotland was... Uh, when we voted for independence it was 45-55. 45, 55. 45 voted yes, 55 voted no. When we voted for exiting the EU, 60% of Scotland voted to leave, to remain within the EU. 40% voted to leave. Wow. But Britain as a whole was 52% to vote to leave. Well. So it was just basically England when we want to leave. <laughs> and Scotland were like, we don't want to leave. But because England's got much more population than Scotland, we didn't get much of a choice. Okay. Well. And that's that's one of the reasons why Scotland needs to be independent from the UK. Our ideas of the world is so different to the UK. Like everything about us is so radically different. It's not that I I don't hate the UK. I hate West Westminster. Westminster's a fucking stupid ass thing. Don't hate the UK, I don't hate the English. I just hate their government and the way they run things and how stupid they can be. They're very like American type thing. Americans are stupid as fuck. Yeah. Americans are stupid as fuck. <laughs> because yeah, all exactly. they they are literally just let's listen to the news. Let's listen to yeah. Fox. Let's listen to Fox News because that's the reliable source of news. That's like listening to BBC in Scotland and Britain. BBC is used to be our one and only channel. Well, uh, up until like 30, 40 years ago. Wow. British okay, Broadcast Centre. Hmm. Should there be fewer or more restrictions on current welfare benefits? Fewer. Welfare benefits. Um, yeah, fewer restrictions, yeah. Should the top stack cycle of income of uh, 150k raise to 50%? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Should 18 to 25 years old take on unpaid community work in order to claim benefits? Uh, mm. 
I uh, I don't like, know like yeah. Do you know when it when people are like you have to be forced to work in order to reclaim benefits? Yeah, I, I get I have, that. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, because I it, also I also have it and I actually quite enjoy. However, it. the way that the Tories wanted to do is force them to work a forty-hour week and get seventy pounds a week. Well, when people that are working a forty-hour week normally get seven pounds an hour or more, so they're getting like four hundred pound a week. Big difference there. Yeah. Uh, so I I understand it, but it should be to how much it would cost normally. Yeah. Like. Uh, say, if they get seventy pounds, they should have ten hours a week. Yeah. So let's say yes, but lower lower it to thirty hours minimum. That seems good. Yeah. Okay. Not at all similar should, should are the race of the immortal gods the and the race no. of men who walk upon the earth. That is very iffy as well. Yeah. There are some people that do completely milk the system and do have as many babies as they can so they can get more money. But the more babies you have, the more money you have to spend. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, there are some scary-ass stories in Britain about how much people can make from having children. Like, someone got a £500,000 house built for them because they had so many kids. And they didn't have a job and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, I could see why people would hate that. But the majority of single parents are not that fucking stupid. Yep. So I don't think it should be restricted. But it should be clamped down on when people are being taken for, like, the piss. Should bankers' bonuses be capped 100% for pay? Um, yes, and lower to 50%. Mm -hmm. Should should no one pay IR taxes on mentions valid? Yep. Uh, should the UK abolish the inheritance tax? Uh, I really don't know. No, I think it, I think no, it should, be they should not. I, it should be reformed because. I think that uh, people should be able to give money uh, that's around one million pound and above that, no, and they shouldn't be able to keep like huge um, companies and stuff. No, the tax is just a tax. It's like twenty five percent of the amount of money you you would be given is taxed, oh. which oh. is fine. <laughs> yeah. That that's understandable. That's what. Red, that's what your wages are. I and it's basically I, a wage. I think it should be like, uh, like, I think it should be like the income tax that it, it changes to the more you get, the more it's taken from you. It shouldn't be flat, it should be, uh... Yeah, yeah, the same with like, yeah, income tax. The higher your wage, the more you have, the more you have to give. Yeah. Should you keep the Since the nature of faith, people is bad, to become countries. corrected, they um, must be taught by teachers, I really don't and know to about be that. orderly, they must acquire ritual and moral principles. What's free trades? Free trade. Free trade is what the EU used to be, or what the EU is. Uh, people can go from one country to the other, uh, only needing a passport, and uh, not uh, yeah, they need a passport. But you, c I can. I'm British, but I can go to Poland and work and be a Polish citizen. Oh, then yes. The EU is a completely free trade block, and you can go in anywhere in Europe without a worker's permit. Oh, wow. That is one of the biggest benefits of the EU, and we're like, nah, I don't want that anymore. And it's also, uh, like, any of our exports do not get taxed to go to another country within the EU. So, yeah. Um, the price they're paying in another country should technically be the same price we're paying in this country. Oh. So if I have a, uh, let's say, Italian citizenship, can I go to Sweden? Uh, don't remember. If s a lot of these Scandinavian countries are not within the EU, oh. but they pay to be within the free trade bloc. Oh, okay. Because they have a lot of oil money. Oh. I think Finland isn't in it. 
or Finland is in it. Norway are not in it, and I'm not sure about Sweden. Uh, Turkey's trying to get in it right now. Oh, really? Yeah. It, when you think of Europe, you don't think of Turkey. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> like, EU means European Union. And now we're accepting Morocco, or the people that are trying to get in it right now because the EU is pretty much just the whole of Europe, uh, even though Britain's trying to leave. But we're now taking um, applications from Morocco, Algier, and Turkey, which are not a part of Europe. Yep. Should the government abolish not the document rule, which should also to name with taxpayer and earnings? Like Trust me, the UK. Sick. The Great Silk Road. Silk Road is amazing. <laughs> hmm. Should mortgage lenders be allowed to provide buy to let mortgage loans? I want to buy my name. Why am I not supposed to I remember buy to let is a very iffy thing. Yeah. It's meant to be good, but it's not, or something like that. I don't. I don't know what it is. I think there's something good about it, but it's bad. Should should the British monarchy should be abolished? Uh, yes. I I. I understand I why they're there. Yeah. Um. But they're useless. <laughs> they're useless. I, I think that the palace and everything should be kept because it's it's, it's a part of the UK history, but I don't think that the monarchy should be kept. The, the reason why the monarchy are still kept is because of the way that people see the UK. Um, like, our monarchy is a part of our culture now, um, but it doesn't provide any bonus nowadays. I, I think the I like them, but they're fucking terrible. <laughs> They are no longer worthwhile. Should the UK resonate from a mandatory national service? Yes. Should should non-violent drunk offenders be given mandatory jail sentences? No. They should seek treatment, not jail. Yeah. Should Welsh, Scottish, and North Irish M MPs entitled to vote on legislations which of all affect only England? Only England, no. Uh, I don't. I think you might save England for their own retardation. So yes. Uh, yeah, but they're England are not allowed to vote on Scottish laws. Oh. Um. Uh, so it's understandable that they want to do English laws for English people. So like the Scottish government are not allowed, Scottish MPs are, and Welsh MPs and Irish MPs should technically not be allowed to vote on English laws. But when they start using English laws to control the rest of Europe, uh, the UK, that's when it becomes iffy. Because there's some English laws that actually do affect the UK. Like, I, I think it's a great thing. I'm all for it. But it should be, th like, properly thought about. Yeah, so... Let's just reform the UK into a federal system. <clears throat> Try to think of what to go next. What... What the fuck is the House of Lords? House of Lords are a fucking stupid ass piece of shit. You know the House of Commons? Um, the House of MPs. Like, yeah. where the MPs vote yeah, on yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 the yeah. House of Lords is basically the exact same thing, 
but they're not voted in. Ah, oh, wow, so abolished this thing. Yes, the House of Lords are just rich ass people who have been named a Lord or a Sir or whatever the fuck, and they are in this house and they can pretty much vote on any law they want without. Like, they can abolish laws. They can stop Scotland from being a half independent country. Oh. Right now, we are. We have we we have the ability to create our own laws in Scotland, and alter the laws that you, the UK give us. Pretty much how the EU gives the UK laws, but we can change the laws slightly. The UK gives Scotland laws, but Scotland can change them slightly, and Scotland can make their own bloody laws in Scotland. The House of Lords have the ability to abolish that. Oh. Um, and we cannot. Nobody votes in the House of Lords. Which is like That's the most started. stupidest thing in the world. That's just started. So, so, so. Should foreign visitors have to pay for emergency medical treatment? No. Imagine. Do you support the legislation of Marijuana? Yes. Yes, it feels. Should feel. Should you okay about abolishing restitution fees? Yes. I'm torn in this one. What one? Uh, should the UK abolish university tuition fees? I want to say yes, but I want also want to say yes, but only for low-income families. No, they should abolish it completely. Scotland doesn't have it. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, anybody that lives in Scotland, or a part of the EU, uh, do not have to pay to be in higher education. That's actually quite, that's actually quite nice. I wish we had it here. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Uh, it's like, it, it allows you to have an education. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had six years of education out, what, six years? Six years of education outside of high school and I've not paid a penny. Wow. Uh, I'm in 15,000 debt, but that's student loan. That's not tuition fees. Wow. For me to repeat a year, however, I have to pay three grand. Oh. But three grand is nothing. Uh, I've heard people have to pay a lot more than that. What's the GCSE exam? GCSE is just uh, the exams. Like school exams. Oh, okay. Should all state school be required to follow standard? Yeah, of course. Uh, Scotland does not follow the GCSE exam. Oh, really? Yes. We have our own exam. Uh, we have the standard grades. Oh. Uh, we are not part of the uh, British um, standards. Oh. Should free meals offered to all primary school students? Yes. yes. Do you support a return of selective education system and re re introduction of grammar schools? No. Should government allow businesses, charities, parents, or teachers to use fabric money to start free schools? Yes. Should the UK withdraw from the European Union? No. <laughs> Should the UK abolish the Human Rights Act? No. Should every 18 year old citizen require to provide at least one year of military service? No. What do you expect will be a result of Brexit vote? Uh, well, leave. No, I, I think, it, isn't it like. It will be uh, beneficial or detrimental to Britain. No, it's like what do you? It's like seriously leave or stay. That these are the only options. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brexit <laughs> means to leave the EU. Yeah. Should the UK increase or decrease foreign aid spending? I think it should decrease. I think it should decrease uh, countries with bad humanitarian aid. Yes. And we 
the, it shouldn't really give with you, uh, to countries with uh, human rights violations. Oh, well. Should you okay renew its Trident nuclear weapon program? No. 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 Should you should you okay increase or decrease uh, military spending? N decrease. Should you okay conduct military strikes against North Korea in order to destroy the long range military missiles and nuclear weapon capabilities? Like that seems like quite dangerous, so I'm going to say no. Yes! That could spark, that could spark a third oh. world war. It's exactly the same way as what happened with Iraq. Yeah. Should you okay overthrow President Assad of Syria? Who gives a shit? No. <laughs> like, I'm leaving a thousand miles away from them and I don't give a shit. So, do you care? Like, should convicted felon have the right to vote? Yes, of course. Should the UK report immigrants who are considered to be promoting terrorism? Yes, of course. Uh, should the government enact a stricter immigration policy? Well, that depends. Yeah. Uh, well, I think the way that Australia do it is actually quite good. Yeah. Uh, so stricter immigration policy is actually is something I would probably agree with. Refugee policy, however, I wouldn't yeah. agree with. Like, if a refugee is a refugee, they should just be allowed in the country. Should the London Underground consider the social service which will ban all future war strikes? Uh, well. Workers, no, 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 no. It's not an essential service. <laughs> Do you support the construction of high-speed railway connected to London to bring him home low? No. That, that would be bad to all the environment. No, it's... I actually agree with the high-speed rail. Because railway is better than a fucking road, to be honest. Uh, it can pa take more people. However, all they're caring about is, Brit is England. They haven't even thought about connecting uh, no. London to Edinburgh or London to Glasgow. They're just like, let's connect London to another part of the, uh, England instead of caring about the rest of the UK. Yeah. Okay, so I'm 91% Liberal Democrats, 88% Green, 88% Old Labour. That's nice. Liberal Democrats are fucking terrible. <laughs> That's oh, all wow. I have to say. Wow. Uh, Liberal Democrats are basically just the Tories. Uh, you're probably like ninety percent SNP. Okay. Because SNP are probably not on there. Yeah, they're not on there. Because the SNP are not a British party; they're a Scottish party. Yeah. Uh, so like, anyone that's not a part of the uh, Scotland and is in the UK cannot vote for the SNP. Who the fuck are the Democratic Unionists? No idea. <laughs> uh, Democratic <laughs> Unionists are the people that want the Britain to stay together. Oh. So they don't want things like Wales to leave Britain, Ireland to leave Britain, Scotland to leave Britain. So they'll try anything they possibly can to keep Britain Britain. Well, so they I might. Only, I only agree seventeen percent with them. So. So they. What they might want to do is what America's done to America. American country, American states cannot vote to leave America. They have to go to war against America in order to leave America. Wow. Right now, Scotland can leave uh, the UK as long as Scotland votes to leave the UK. Uh, but if the UK said you can no longer do that, then we're fucked. We wouldn't have a choice. We would have to stay within the UK, no matter what. Who's uh, Sin Fien? No idea. I agree with him. 82